Hey everyone, it's your Ice Prince, John Creighton Peterson, and I'm here in my studio to show you another one of my favorite tricks to using bezels with your ice resin. So here's the situation. You're at a hardware store, maybe even a salvage yard, and you see something really cool like this, and you think, I really want to make a bezel out of this. Now, I'm using a little bit of a larger clamp than I would generally use for making a piece of jewelry, but I wanted to show you with this because it's large enough and easy enough to see on a video. So you have this great clamp, but then you notice you've got all these holes going around here. And you start to think to yourself, self, if I go to put my resin in here, it's just gonna come out all the holes. So this is a cool, easy way to take care of this. And you can also use your ice enamels with this as well. The magic answer is a roll of this metal tape that you can find at the hardware store. Now you can use the copper tape also. Copper tape's more expensive. So I like to use this tape and you can find it like in the electrical section of the store or in the plumbing section, just depends on your hardware store. So I'm just gonna cut a piece like so. And I'm actually gonna cut this, kinda eyeball it up the middle just so it's a little bit smaller, more manageable. And you don't want to have this crinkle up a lot when you're using it, but if it does, you can always smooth it out with a bone folder, so that's fine. So what I like to do is just start, peel back a piece, and then I typically like to use like the top part up here. If this were to be the top of my bezel, I'll use this part up here as my starting point. That way it's kind of hidden up there at the top as opposed to the bottom of your bezel where someone might see it. So now I'm just going to start working my way around. Now this isn't super high tack tape but it does the job really well and it holds up to the heat if you are going to be using your enamels with this. So now I'll just peel off that backing. And this also works really well with different shapes. So you've got a lot of flexibility with this tape. The main thing I found is when you're putting down the tape is to try not to have too much extra in the overlap part here. So I have that down. I'm just gonna smooth this now. And the other nice thing is that it will keep the original shape on the outline here so you can still have some of these small holes and everything else show up as a relief if you are gonna use enamels. So now I'd just like to take a craft knife. I'm just gonna start and just work my way right around the edge. And if you follow the block quite often, this was the technique I used a few weeks ago for creating the Christmas ornament that we did with this uh, blog hop with indigo blue. So now, got that almost all the way off there. Perfect, so now I have one side all flush. Just gonna rub that edge in there really good. So you see I have a nice flush edge. And now I'm just gonna repeat this for the other side. And who knew that you could use such an easy technique for creating your bezels and for giving the inside a more smooth and polished look when you're working on them. I don't know how I ever came up with this idea of desperation, I would probably say, in the middle of the night trying to make a bezel out of something crazy. But you know what? It worked. And I love sharing these kind of light bulb moments with everybody make their lives easier too when they're working on projects. So now I'm just going to smooth myself out and again if you want to use a bone folder or something like that you can do that as well but this one I really don't need that. Now on the inside kind of spin this at an angle so you can see it I have a perfectly smooth surface and it's even smooth over this clamp part so that when I put my packing tape on the back here, 
to put my resin inside, I'm not going to have a big waterfall leaking mess coming out of the sides. And now just to show you, because the proof is always in the pudding, I put down my packing tape underneath here and I'm just going to start filling this up with some resin. Now this isn't obviously going to go all the way around here, but I'm going to tip this enough just to show you that on the sides it won't leak out. All the way around there I'm just going to twist all this resin around and because we all know our resin's worth its weight in gold I'm not going to waste a big batch of resin but I just want to have this poured over the bubble or over the holes here on the side just to illustrate the point that this will not leak out anywhere going around the edge. Think of it as a big pair of the pens for working with your bezel or a nice pair of pampers if you want to think of it in a little kid's term. And just looking down here on the paper, not a drop to be found. So next time you're out at the hardware store and you're looking at some of these fun little pieces that have the clamps with some holes and you're not sure if you can make it work or not, just remember a nice piece of your silver metal tape is going to take care of everything. For more tips and ideas, be sure to check out the Ice Resin blog.